Hey guys, this is Sala. Today I'm going to show you how to access the main built-in interface for the Pro HD camera. This is where you can access every setting and function the Pro HD is capable of, and is a great place to be very familiar with if you want to make the most of this feature-rich device. Before we begin, let's make sure that you connect your camera's power adapter to an outlet, and to the back of your camera. If you have yet to add this camera to your smartphone app or your home Wi-Fi, you can click here to do that now. Or, if this is your first time set up, please also connect an Ethernet cable to the back of your camera and I will show you how to set it up to your Wi-Fi later on in this video. The first and most important thing to cover is the Amcrest IP Config tool. This is what allows you to quickly locate and access your camera's admin interface. Using the CD that comes with your Pro HD, you can install it directly onto your computer by double-clicking this setup icon. Alternatively, if you don't want to use your CD or don't have access to it, you can just launch into a browser and go to amcrest.com forward slash support. Right there you should see the link to download IP config software. You can save it to your computer or run it directly. Or you can go to amcrest.com and from the home page choose the IP camera section. Choose the listing for the Pro HD, scroll down to Documentation, and click here to save it to your computer directly. Whether you choose to run or locate the file and double click it from your downloads folder, all you have to do is follow the prompts on the installer and click Enjoy Now to launch. If your camera is on and connected to your network, it will appear here. Notice that it shows up with the model number, IP address, TCP and HTTP ports, subnet mask, gateway, and MAC address. This E icon will launch it into your default browser. Please note that to log in through a web browser, you can use either Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. Currently, we are developing a new version of our plugin that will be compatible with a Chrome browser. To keep an eye out for new firmware updates for the Pro HD, please visit amcrest.com forward slash firmware. Here is where you can follow the instructions to download new firmware fixes as they become available. So, clicking the E icon here will launch it into Internet Explorer for us. The default login information for this camera will be admin admin. If you've already changed this to something else, please make sure to enter it correctly before clicking login. If this is your first time logging in, you'll be prompted to change your password before you can continue. Enter your new password, enter it again to confirm, then click OK. Once you get into the interface, you'll land on the live view screen, and you will have to install a plugin before it actually pulls up your camera. Click here, and on IE, you can simply click Run down below, and it will quickly install and start working immediately. If it doesn't work for you right away, please keep in mind that you may need to refresh the page or shut down all your browser windows and use the IP config tool to log in again. By default, in this live view screen, your camera will be set to 1920 by 1080 resolution. This is the mainstream setting, and switching to substream drops the quality considerably so the feed can remain fluid even with low network speed. Notice the resolution of 640x480. Now, let's switch back to mainstream. Perhaps the most useful part of this web UI is the Help Center with the Life Ring icon. This can be accessed from any page. Notice how it provides a detailed breakdown of every single icon, function, and setting on the page. At any time, you can even navigate back to the main list and dive into any other page as well. It's a very good idea to become very familiar with everything inside of this help center. Next, let's take a look at the PTZ tab. This is where you can control your camera's movement and zooming capabilities. The arrows here are where you pan and tilt. With this drop-down, you can also change the panning and tilting speed. And here is where you can zoom. Keep in mind, this is a digital zoom function, not optical zoom, so the image being magnified is the same base 1080p resolution and the lens is not actually moving closer. Here is the playback tab. You can choose your day, storage type, 
Files, and use the timeline below. Setup takes you to the main settings, where you can choose to configure camera, network, event, storage, system, or see more information. Alarm is where you can customize the different types of triggers available, and Logout takes you back to the login screen. Now I'm going to show you how to add your camera to your home or business Wi-Fi so you don't need to keep the Ethernet cable plugged in to use your camera. Once again, if you follow the setup process from our app setup video, you don't need to perform this step. Click here to jump to that video now. Otherwise, let's go log into our camera's main interface one more time. Enter your password and click login. Click Setup to go to the main settings pages. Jump to Network and Wi-Fi. Find your network's name in the list. Once you've found it, double-click it to enter your network key or password. Then click Connect. You want to allow the green status below to appear as connected before logging out. That's all and thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and visit our channel to watch more videos from Amcrest Technologies.